This is just a brief introduction to um, what the BRICS lessons might look like. And this is an example using Sky Science vocabulary for grade 6. And so basically they're designed to help ESL students make connections with new vocabulary, but also to help initiate and develop background knowledge in native English speakers. And so you'll see in the title page that it's just an introduction to sci -Sci Sky Science. It's to introduce new vocabulary to the students and to provide visuals and opportunities for interactions with new vocabulary. The teacher's notes provided just show the basics of what's involved. And the lesson notes just give a basic background about what's happening in the lesson. If I move on to the next page, you'll see that we're dealing with words related to the planets and the word we're introducing is body or bodies. And what we've done here is provide three sentences that use the word body or bodies and um, one of them deals with the way we use the word bodies in astronomy. And so then we ask the question uh, from the sentences above, what do you think the word bodies means? And we're using a think, pair, double pair, share activity where the students will think for 30 seconds, pair together for a minute, double pair with another pair for 30 seconds, and then we'll spend five minutes sharing from the groups of four and becoming coming and making a class definition of the word body or bodies as it pertains to science. I move on to the next page, page about planetary motion and the words that describe how our planets move throughout the solar system. And so you'll see the first one here I have is when something spins it is said to rotate. All planets rotate and the Earth rotates once in 24 hours. And I was lucky enough to find an image that shows the Earth rotating. The next word I want to introduce is the word revolve. When something is moving in a circle around another object, it is said to revolve. So then I have a couple of points about that and an image that illustrates it. This activity is a Venn diagram activity where the class will work together to create um, definitions and words and ideas that deal with rotate and revolve and the words separately, so how they're related to each other. Students might come up with things like planets do it in the middle for and, and rotate would be words like spin and um, circle, and revolve would be things like um, move around and year. The words that only reply to revolve, words that only reply to rotate, and words that reply to both. Next, I'm going to introduce the word solar. So the word solar, I'm giving uh, the Latin origin. It's important to teach students how to find and how to use the origin of English words. And then I have a statement that uses the word solar. And then what we're going to do down here is um, ask the words, have they, used, have they heard or used the word solar? And we're going to list those ideas below on the smart board. So they might come up with solar energy, solar panels, solar anything because we know they've heard these words out in the world and we're trying to make a connection between these words and how we're going to use them in science. I'm ending the little mini lessons with a short game. Those lessons could be done over a span of two or three days and this game would just be a little wrap-up activity, just something fun for the kids to play. And so when I press start you see that you get a question. It says, Earth is in the blank system, and I need to spell the word that matches. And you and I both know it's solar, so S-O-L-A-R. And then it tells, we, we, tells us that we got it right. And then I can click Next. And so the students get a little score. They can play this in small groups. They could put it as a station at the smart board as other kids would work around towards it and make it a little mini competition. There's a lot of ways to use this game. And so that is playing with words. And Marzano recommends that the students get these opportunities to play with the words and challenge themselves. So as you can see, what this system does is introduce the words in a friendly way and in a way that native speakers will benefit as well as ELL students.